I started a sneaker collection with just a $20 bill, and now I'm gonna buy, sell, and trade my way up to a pair of $20,000 Nike mags. Oh, and I'm also giving away a pair of Nike Dunks. Yo, these are crazy. No way. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time watching this series, I definitely recommend starting from the beginning of the series, which you can do by clicking the link in the description below or at the top of the screen. So in the last episode, we finished off the week with the sneaker collection fund of $2,784.22. And since then, I have sold a lot of sneakers. In fact, the sneaker collection fund has grown almost exponentially from last week's episode. So why don't we start there? Why don't we talk about the sneakers that we sold over the weekend? So I've got all my notes written out on my laptop, so let me pull it up really quick just to be more professional with it. So the first pair of sneakers that we sold was actually a pair that I sold to myself. And you might be saying, you can't do that, that's cheating. But to be fair, I did sell it to myself at market value or even under market value because I sold it to myself, I think at StockX payout. And so the pair of sneakers that I ended up selling was actually the Nike Dunk Low SB J-Pack Chicago's. So I had mentioned in my last $20 sneaker collection video that I was going to do that because I had traded away that pair of sneakers for two pairs of shoes that I was gonna add into my own personal collection. So what I did is I sold that pair of Nike Dunk Lows to myself for $500 and then I ended up trading that shoe away on trade block so I don't know exactly what these shoes are going for right now but in a size 10 and a half which is what I had you can sell them on StockX for 570 which would be a payout of 50160 so almost exactly what I sold them to myself for even though it kind of sounds weird that I sold them to myself I did it exactly how I'd sell them to anyone else so it's not like we're really messing with the series in that way so I'm happy to report that and after selling that pair of sneakers the sneaker collection fund now sits at three thousand two hundred and eighty four dollars and twenty two cents which I'm gonna be honest, I'm not mad at at all. It's a great amount of money. Um, we sold like five other pairs of sneakers, so we keep adding to that, and we have a lot of money to go thrifting with, which I'm really excited about. But moving forward, why don't we get into some of the sneakers that I sold on eBay? And the first pair that I sold was a pair of Air Force Ones that we picked up last week. So this pair of AF1 Lunars I picked up at the thrift store for $11.99, which is kind of an unbelievable price. Now on eBay, I saw a pair going for like $3.50, but let's be honest, that pair is never gonna sell. So I ended up listing them for $60. I got an offer for $4 like a day later I ended up taking it because I think the name of the game when it comes to flipping sneakers in this way is speed and not so much waiting for the best price because sometimes it can take weeks and uh, you just lose out on some extra profit that you could have very quickly so I sold them for $40 and after fees and shipping I was able to add $35 and 58 cents back into the sneaker collection fund then subtracting the amount that I paid for the sneakers $11.99 we get the net profit of $23.59 and even though that doesn't sound like a huge amount of money percentage wise that is a great flip and I I would do that over and over and over again. Next up, I sold the Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0s that I traded for. I sold them on eBay for $290, and after fees and shipping, I was able to add $266.98 back into the sneaker collection fund. Now, because this is a pair of sneakers that I traded for, I don't really have a way to calculate out the net profit, at least not accurately. So any sneakers that I trade for, I'm not gonna give you guys net profit, but like I said in last week's episode, moving forward, most of the sneakers that we have in the collection and the sneakers that we sell are gonna be sneakers that I actually bought, so I can definitely give you accurate net profits moving forward. The next sneaker that I sold were the Adidas Solar Glides that I picked up from Plato's Closet. So I bought these guys for $24 and I ended up selling them on eBay for an offer of $40. After all was said and done, I was able to add $35.63 back into the sneaker collection fund and we were left with a net profit of $11.63. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little disappointed with how those sneakers did. They were brand new, they were in great condition and they were a good size. I guess the silhouette itself just isn't that popular so it wasn't getting a lot of interest on eBay, but I would have liked to have sold them for closer to like 60 to $70, but you can't always win with those. At least we made money and didn't lose any money. And then the final pair that I sold on eBay were the Sakai Clot Nike LD Waffles. So this was another shoe that I grabbed in a trade. However, this trade was pretty even, at least in my opinion. I was able to sell these guys for $185 on eBay, and after fees and shipping, we were able to add $164.86 back into the sneaker collection fund. So after all of those sales, we now have a sneaker collection fund of $3,000. $787.27. But that's not all. We also sold some pairs on StockX, so let's get into those. So the first pair that we sold on StockX were the Air Jordan 1 University Blues. This was another pair that we had traded for. We sold these on StockX for $440, and after all their processing fees and shipping and things like that, we were able to add $387.20 back into the sneaker collection fund. And then the second pair that we sold were the Air Jordan 12 Royalties. We sold those on StockX for $245, and after the fees and all that sort of good 
gets tough, we were left with $215.60. A couple weeks ago, I wouldn't have thought about selling any of these shoes on StockX because the processing fees are pretty high, at least higher than eBay's were because eBay had basically no processing fees if you sold sneakers over $100. But now that eBay actually added fees, although StockX does technically have higher fees, I listed the shoes both on eBay and on StockX, nothing really happened and I decided to just flip them as quickly as possible. So I sold them both on StockX and we only missed out on like maybe 10 to $20 worth of profit. It wasn't a huge deal. But that pretty much wraps up all of the sales that we made over the weekend and we are now left with a crazy sneaker collection fund of $4,390.07, which is a total that I am very happy with and is a great amount to go sneaker thrifting with. So let's do it. Oh cool, looks like today they got some Curry 3's, pretty worn though, let's see, $7.99, not bad, I don't know what the resale is on these though, so I'm gonna hold off on those, got some New Balances, looking really clean, New Balance what, $9.99, I don't know what these are, they look good, Nine twenty sevens. some uh, interesting Jordan things, $5.99 with elephant print in the bottom. That's kind of cool. Not seeing too much else. Yeah, nothing crazy today, unfortunately. Looks like they might have actually been cleared out earlier. I should have come a little bit earlier. I'll check the price of these on eBay, but I'm expecting them not to be that crazy, so I'll probably just leave them. Nike basketball, $8.99, not bad. A little torn up at the top though, so probably a no-go. But it's cool to see. These are kind of dope. I like these a lot, so Sherpa lining. That's sick. Oh, no price though. Some React shoes, it looks like. Five bucks, pretty heavily worn though. Smaller size and they're dirty, so probably a no-go on those guys. Some bronze, kid size, not worth it. For rounds. Okay, so I just finished up with Goodwill, the second stop of the morning. Unfortunately, I couldn't really find anything anywhere. The one thing I was kind of interested in were the Pharrell's, uh, the tennis hues that I just saw in Goodwill. Um, unfortunately, I probably couldn't talk about them in the video because there was some copyrighted music playing, so. Uh, that was kind of frustrating because they didn't do that last time, but it is what it is. Um, the shoes themselves look fine. They're just a very, very slow seller. So even though they're only eight bucks, um, I think I probably would have only been able to sell them for like 17 or 18. So not a huge profit there at all. And uh, probably just not worth the time because I would have had to clean them up too. So maybe I'm making a mistake. I don't know. I don't think so. But uh, we'll just keep going and see if we find anything else. Oh, these top tens are kind of wild. I like the metallic. Is that 14? 14 bucks? It's not bad. These are kind of cool. I don't know if they're worth anything, but they're cool. 14 bucks? Not bad. I'm actually kind of surprised these are sitting. These are kind of fire. The uh, Puma Ralph Sampson mids. Nice looking shoe. Seriously, I just don't know what the resale value is on it. I don't think it's worth it, but they are very clean. 20 bucks, not bad either. These are kind of clean. Not much, 22, not bad. I should probably check the eBay price of these guys. I think for 22 bucks, worth the risk. Pretty clean. Sick, y'all definitely grab these. Thank you so much, man, I really appreciate that. No way. Awesome, huge shout out to Plato's Closet. These are sick. Definitely grabbing these. Thank you so much, man, I appreciate that. Yo, these are crazy. No way. Size 11. Yeah, these are nuts. Some pickups today, man. Wow, 
So a crazy, crazy trip to Plato's Closet. At first it wasn't looking that crazy, but then things really took a turn for the best. I'm so excited. So the, uh, the first shoe pickup that we had were these Air Maxes right here. I think they're Air Max 200s, $22. Um, I used my 20% off uh, coupon that I have because I shopped there so much. So I think it dropped down a little bit. I don't know exactly what these were at, but although I got these guys for a good price, that was not the main story of the day. The main story of the day is that while I was looking at shoes, one of the employees named Gio came up to me and said that he had some pairs in the back because he knew I'm interested in sneakers. And I don't know if he's watching this, but Gio, thank you so much, man. You made my day. This is crazy. So we pulled out this pair right here. These Air Jordan 4s, I believe they were for the uh, the FIBA Cup. A soccer event, football event, something like that. But these are size 9. They've still got the cardboard inside. They were priced at 70 bucks, but then I used my 20% off coupon. Man, this is crazy. They're barely worn, too. It's nuts. Um, wow, Gio hooked it up today. It's crazy. And then next we had even crazier of a pair, which he also had in the back. And apparently he was saving for himself, but unfortunately it was a size too big for him, so he couldn't rock it. But the Shattered Backboard 3.0s, I can't believe it. They were priced at $100. They look, I mean, almost brand new. It's crazy. They don't have laces, unfortunately. Um, but I mean, they look legit. There's no, no issues that I'm seeing personally, but I will throw these on eBay. And then when they sell, they'll be legit checked by people at eBay. So don't worry if you grab these. Um, Huge shout out to Gio, man. Seriously, thank you so much. I don't know if you watch these, but I really appreciate it, man. You, you made my day. You literally made my day. This is amazing. Um, yeah. Wow. What a great pickup. Like the whole week was looking kind of glum. I've been a couple places. I didn't even put some of the places in the video because there was nothing. But uh, this turned everything around. <laughs> wow, this is nuts. What are these? Ah, Hyperdunks. What are these? A LeBron's, okay. How much? 10 bucks? I'm gonna actually check the price on these because I know nothing about these. But they're in good condition. Doesn't look like there's too much heel drag. There's a little bit, but not too much. A little bit of four foot drag. Mm, that's probably a no go. Some rock climbing bouldering shoes. They're definitely worn down. <laughs> but uh, these are expensive when they're in good condition. So that would have been a pickup if they weren't so worn down. Nice. Emoji slides. <laughs> On the way, we got some KDs. And they're beat. <laughs> the air bubbles popped in the front. That's a definite no-go. How much were they asking, actually? Let's see. No price. Yeah, no price on them. Probably a good thing. nothing else looks like so this was really a crazy pickup i can't believe that they actually had these i can't believe that someone traded them in to be fair though because these shoes were selling for a hundred dollars at play-dohs i would assume that they paid up for these unfortunately they didn't have a box and one of the pairs was missing a pair of laces so uh that means that i actually had to buy another pair of laces on amazon from rope lace supply which cost me twelve dollars and 99 cents which means that the sneaker collection fund now sits at four thousand two hundred and twenty four dollars and two cents but i do have to say though and this is not sponsored but the laces from Rope Lace Supply are basically exactly the same as standard Air Jordan 1 laces. Now I was careful to actually remove the laces from the side of the pair that had the laces just so that these two laces would match, but honestly they look just like the originals and the only way that someone would know that I switched them out is because I made sure to mention it in the eBay listing just to be completely transparent and also I'm telling you guys in the video. But I've really got to give a huge shout out to Gio from Plato's Closet because he saw me checking out the sneakers, asked if I was into sneakers and told me he had something crazy in the back, pulled it out and he was right. This shoe is absolutely insane. Um, he said he was holding it for himself, but unfortunately it's a size too big or a couple sizes too big, so he couldn't rock it. So he's willing to sell it to me. So thank you, Gio, for this. I really appreciate it, man. And uh, I'm stoked. And to be honest, I've already sold these, so that's even better. And speaking of that, why don't we talk about some of the sales that I had over the last couple of days. And obviously the first pair that I sold were these Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0s. As you guys just saw, I grabbed these from Plato's Closet for $80 because I had a 20% off coupon and uh, I ended up selling them on eBay for $240, which is crazy. So after fees and shipping, I was able to add $220.73 back into the sneaker collection fund and then subtracting the amount that I paid for the shoes left us with a net profit of $140. 
$40.73, an incredible net profit and uh, really one of the best pickups that we've had in a while. But these were such an insane pickup and I know there's people out there right now already commenting, oh, those are definitely fake, but <laughs> I've checked them over myself. I'm not a legit checking expert, but I pretty much know whenever a shoe is legit and when it's not, these look legit to me. And also I sold them through eBay, which has an authenticity guarantee. So eBay is gonna check them out too, authenticate them, and whoever gets these shoes will be guaranteed to get a legit pair or get their money back. So the guy who bought these is either gonna get these shoes or get their money back. So no one's getting a fake pair of shoes. Even if this turns out to be fake, which I don't think it is, no one's getting scammed. So nothing to worry about, but again, I really think these are legit. I've had a couple pairs of these and these look good. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think they're good. And actually, speaking of Plato's pickups, the next pair that we sold were those Air Jordan 4s that we picked up from the same trip. So I grabbed those Jordan 4s for $56, again using the 20% off coupon code, and we sold them on eBay for $159.02. And after all was said and done, we were able to add $147.15 back into the sneaker collection fund, leaving us with a net profit of $91.15. So all around, an incredible trip to Plato's. I mean, honestly, like this trip basically netted us $210, insane, from just one trip to Plato's, absolutely insane. But in some other good news, those were not the only pairs of sneakers that we sold. I sold another pair of sneakers to myself, which I know you guys are rolling your eyes right now, stop selling pairs to yourself, but I'm selling them to myself at full market value, it's not like I'm giving myself a deal. So the shoes that I sold myself were the Air Jordan 1 patent breads that we picked up last week from Foot Locker. This is a shoe that I've been wanting to double up on for a very long time, and I sold them to myself for exactly StockX payout at that time, which was $243.76. So of course, subtracting the purchase price of these shoes, we are left with a net profit of $73.76, which is a pretty decent net profit. But I also sold one more pair of sneakers, and that was the Travis Scott Air Max 270 Reacts, the Cactus Trails, and uh, we ended up selling those on StockX for $415. And after StockX's processing fees and shipping fees, we were left with $365.20 to add back into the sneaker collection fund. And man, after those sales, we were left with a bag. The sneaker collection fund currently sits the highest it's ever sat at, which is $5,200.86. That is an insane amount of money to have after just starting with 20 bucks. I mean, granted, it's been like six months, but still, um, it's crazy. I've actually been considering buying people's collections and doing bulk buys because now we have a lot of money to play with, and that might be a quicker way to sort of increase the sneaker collection fund, and uh, I'll do it in a way that people don't know it's me, or if they know it's me, I'll make sure that they're not giving me a deal or something like that. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section down below, but I feel like that would be a cool way to diversify the series and uh, hit our goals sooner than later. But now let's take that crazy amount of money, go into Center City, Philadelphia, and do some more thrifting. This is kind of cool. Much for these STs, I think. Pretty warm though. Let's see the price. 22. Not bad. That's an option. <laughs> Some flying at Roshi's. I remember when these dropped. These were going for a lot. Now they're just going for 24 bucks. <laughs> Crazy. Got some Fubu sixes. <laughs> 14 bucks. That's definitely a no go. Man, these have been here forever. That's crazy.
get some Iversons. Nice. How much? No price. Damn. I might still grab these though. Little J's. Replacement laces. Nice. Hold up, these are the hardened ones. Oh, that's perfect. Sixers hardened. Awesome. Love it. That's such a cool poster. That's awesome. I don't know anything about the game or the movie or whatever, but the fact that they got a giant poster like that's sick. Okay, so thrifting for today was pretty solid. I was actually really happy with what we picked up. We went to Buffalo Exchange. I don't know why I threw the bag back here, but I did. So the first pair that we grabbed is this pair of New Balance 992s. The 992 is one of those models that sells really well and you wouldn't usually expect it. This pair was priced at 36 bucks, size 10 and a half. I'm gonna throw these on eBay. Barely worn, really, really great condition. Really happy with that pickup. Next, we've got the shoe that I'm really excited about, even though I shouldn't be as excited because the profit isn't as good. This pair I grabbed at Philly Aids Thrift, which is a store that I've actually worked at in the past, years ago, like a decade ago. Um, but I found this pair of shoes and I was like kind of blown away. It's this pair of Reebok Question Mids. Now you might be saying to yourself, okay, it's an Iverson shoe, you love Iverson, that makes sense. But the reason this shoe is so exciting is because it's the Harden-Iverson collaboration. And Harden, literally this week, just went to the Sixers, I'm sure you guys already know this. And uh, this morning actually, literally this morning, they made his uh, new Harden number one jerseys available. So I grabbed it, I wish this was my size, I wish it was. Uh, but it's not, unfortunately. But it was priced to 18 bucks. I had to actually ask someone at the front, and they uh, they went and asked someone in the back, and this is priced 18 bucks. I mean, it's barely worn, if worn at all. Maybe worn once, but like the inside of the shoe is amazing. I don't even know what size this is. What size is it? It is also a size 10.5, so that's kind of funny. So we got some Harden Iversons. Super, super stoked on those. I have no idea what those are going to sell for. I would assume probably like 60 to 70, nothing crazy. But I love those shoes. I'm happy with the new balances. I feel like even though it wasn't a crazy day like we had a couple days ago going to uh, Plato's Closet, it was still a great day and some good pickups. So really happy with that. And I think uh, that pretty much is all the thrifting for the week. Man, this has been a crazy week thrifting. We didn't hit everywhere that we went, but the places that we did hit, we hit pretty big. And I'm really excited about that. Let me know your thoughts on this week's episode in the comment section down below. And actually, before we finish things off, I should tell you guys the sneaker collection fund balance at the end of this week's episode. So at the end of this week, we are left with a sneaker collection fund of $5,146.86, plus the Sixers now of James Harden, so it's been a great week overall. But that pretty much wraps up the episode for this week, but before we finish off the video, I want to tell you guys how you can win a pair of Nike Dunk Lows in the black and white colorway for yourself. So entering this giveaway is insanely easy, literally all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, which hopefully you already are, and then comment something in the comment section down below. I'm actually extending the amount of time that you have to enter this giveaway because I first announced it last week, and I said it was going to end on Wednesday, but now I'm going to extend it until the following Monday. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway, you can either comment on this video or the video that I first announced it in. I'm picking a random comment from one of the two videos, so whichever video you enter on, you're good to go. And that's really all there is to it. Once again, you have to be subscribed to the channel and then just comment something down below and you're entered. Now one thing that is important to say is that I will only announce the winner on my YouTube channel in the community tab. I will not announce the winner on Instagram. I will not DM you on Instagram. I've had a lot of issues in the past of Instagram accounts being made that look like mine and then DMing people to let them know that they won something and then it's like a spam link or something like that. So just know that I will not be announcing the winner on Instagram. If you get a message from someone who looks like me, it's not me. Just block them, report them, all that sort of good stuff. Because the only way that you will know if you've won these is if you check on my YouTube community tab. So just make sure to stay safe online. Don't respond to any comments from people who look like me but aren't me. They're spam and they're fake and just don't do it. It's just not worth it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to win this pair, subscribe, comment below, and then watch my community tab. But that pretty much wraps up the entire video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.